Hi everyone, this is Christy with MyScrapbookEvolution.com and I know it's been a while since I've posted. I've been busy with my son, he's homeschooling in a senior year, I've been dealing with the holidays and all the fun things that life has to offer, but I'm ready to start art journaling again. And once again, I'm going to be participating in the Stencilfy journal project. Now, just to clarify, I am not paid by Stencil Girl or compensated by them to participate. I'm just doing this for fun because I'm doing this with a few of my artistic and creative friends. So what you're looking at here is the journal that I started last year. And because the end of 2018 was a little bit difficult for me time-wise, I didn't finish with all of the prompts for the Stencilfy journal project. I'm hoping to rectify that in 2019. You know, art is just kind of an ongoing thing. You do it when you can and you do it because you enjoy it and you shouldn't put pressure on yourself to necessarily always create every single prompt from a challenge. Your art, your scrapbooking, it shouldn't have that kind of pressure. So anyway, let's take a quick walk through this journal and see where I ended up and what's going on with it. I'll be continuing to work with it throughout 2019 as well. The journal wasn't full. Even if I did all of the prompts from the Stencilfy journal, it wasn't going to be full. I'm really happy with how it started off though. I ended up with this wonderful cover and my portraits, I could see some improvement in the work that I was doing. I could see my style start to evolve. Some of the pages, like I said, are still blank. A lot of them are, but I learned a lot. And your art journal should be something where you can practice, have fun. And by practice, I mean not just the drawing that you're doing, but also with the products and the supplies. And this is one of those where I was practicing with different supplies. The prompt had called for leaves and I was kind of playing around with a brand new gel medium to see how it reacted with the leaves on the page. And I was kind of happy with the results. I learned a lot about myself as I continued with the journal. This was one I actually have the video done and partially edited and I'll share that with you later on. Um, but you can see there's a few pages that are in prep stages. Just kind of cycle through those and try to find some that I actually drew on. And I'm also participating in something called the Scribble Journal. And this was just one of my Scribble Journal pages where I didn't really have the time or the will to want to think about a prompt, but I did want to just kind of play around with what was on the page and it just random doodles, random items like this. This is a stencil girl stencil and I was trying out a new product and it kind of has this like icy pasty type of textured effect on the page. And this was completed over the course of probably several days, maybe even a couple of weeks, just when I had time to jot down in the journal itself. So let's see what else we have here. You can remember a few of these pages from the prompts that I shared. And I definitely do want to finish off some of the prompts that I missed while I had the flu last fall. Got a couple, you know, starting. I did like the effect of using the leaves, so this one was an experiment with flowers, and I wanted to see what color the flowers would turn over time. These petals were originally like a yellow and a pink, and they're turning off to be a soft brown, even with the gel medium over the top of them. And I've got some ready to go for some prompts that I'm finishing up. I think that's about all that's in here. You can see I started journaling on a couple of pages. This was one I just kind of doodled randomly as well as part of my scribble journaling process. So look for this to hopefully be completed sometime in 2019. I'll be sharing the rest of those Stencilfy journal prompts as they come up. Meanwhile, it's time to move on to the Stencilfy journal prompts for 2019 and we're going to be focusing on music. Now I had pulled out a couple of items 
for this particular journal. Let's grab those right here. Since the focus is music, but I haven't felt called to use them yet. These are just some supplies that I had in my stash. Some of them from back when I was with JBS Mercantile. This one's from an Arabic dictionary, an encyclopedia that I got while living here in the UAE. And this is a record I bought from a thrift store, I think, many, many years ago. So I'm looking forward to incorporating those into the prompts at some point, but they just didn't call to me for this particular page. And instead of using the smaller art catalog, I am going to use this magazine. It's an art magazine that's published locally and I sort of use these magazines for inspiration. So you can sort of see in here a little bit of the original print from the page. Um, it has a little bit of brown, this bluish gray color. There were some greens and oranges which are somewhat muted into here and I've just kind of pulled those up out into the page itself. I used about three different Stencil Girl stencils. I used an Art Deco stencil, the Rose Garden stencil, and one of the circular patterns for play. Um, here's a little bit of one of the Art Deco border stencils on there as well. The first prompt is Queen's Song Bohemian Rhapsody. I really struggle with putting words on the page, so I figured with this particular challenge, I'm gonna to have to force myself to deal with my handwriting and just put it in my art journal. I don't know if this page is finished or not yet. I still go back and forth with it. And I guess that's the beauty of the art journaling. I can return to it later if I want. The cover still feels like it needs something to me, but I don't know what. I think I'm going to finish, I don't know if you can see, just journaling all over the spine here and doing something there. I chose the lyric, is this just fantasy, and I put it above art because I wanted it to kind of represent the art journaling. It's more like fantasy art. It's not realistic at all. So it's definitely an escape from reality. This particular character was inspired by the Scaramouche, which is, I'm maybe pronouncing that wrong, but it's evidently a type of Italian style clown. And I chose to sort of create it on the page here. And I didn't do it well, so in some ways it actually looks more like a woman than a clown. But basically it was a black and white, all the images I could find of them were a black and white character with white kind of clown skin. So that's why it sort of has that look to it. And then I just sort of added a few other images into the page. I started just doodling flowers. This may end up very much like that scribble journal art and I'll come back to it and just add little bits here or there. And as that develops and changes, I will share it throughout the year. Essentially to prep this, I haven't removed any pages. I may have to remove them as I go. Um, I've got a couple pages where I've started working and this prompt in particular reminds me of a couple of things. I can pull more than one lyric from the song and add it to the book. And the wonderful thing about this prompt is I can come back and I can do it again and again in the book. So we'll just have to see how it develops. I haven't really prepped a lot of the pages. I'll sort of prep them as I go, feeling whether or not I need white gesso or black gesso or just acrylic. I'll also be stamping off into this book from other projects that I'm working, any excess paint or paint on stencils that I have. And we'll just have to see how it develops over the next year. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel and to my blog to see how this project develops. Meanwhile, if you do decide to work with this prompt and you'd like to share what you've done, please share a link in the comments for this video or on the blog itself.